welcome back everyone so in this video i will be showing you that how to make your windows 10 pc and laptop faster for the best performance and for the best gaming in just five minutes so without any delay let's quickly get started and before you starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you and you can also join my membership to live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. Now before proceeding guys, I would recommend you that go ahead and create a restore point to stay safe in case if the setting doesn't work, then you can quickly revert it back. Very simple, click on your windows search, type restore, click on create a restore point. Now here at the bottom, you have to click on create. If the option is not being highlighted, then you have to click on configure, turn on the system protection, click on apply, click on OK this time you can click on create and here you can give a restore point name that you can remember like i will type win 10 optimization then you can click on create and it will take few seconds only to create a restore point once created you will have to click on close click on ok next click on your windows search type services click on services now here basically we will be disabling many kind of services that we don't want to use or we are not using them and they still run in the background and occupy a lot of resources. So I've already created a dedicated video on this where I have given the detailed information that what all services you should disable. You can check that video but still I will be suggesting you a few of them like if you're not using the BitLocker then you can double click on it. From the startup type choose it to disable. Stop the service click on apply click on ok. Similarly you have to look for the other services like Bluetooth. If you're not using then you can go ahead and disable it then you also need to look for connected user experience and telemetry double click on it and choose disable stop the service click on apply click on ok and so on you have to look for many other kind of services like fax printer whichever you are not using go ahead and disable them once you are done you will have to click on your windows search type registry click on registry editor from the suggestion click on yes now here in the registry from the left hand menu option you will have to click on HK local machine then you have to look for system double click on it then look for current control set double click on it click on control and once you click on control on the right hand side you will find a key by the name SVC host split threshold in KB so just make a double click on it and here you have to change the value data and this value data will depend that what kind of RAM you have on your computer. So on the right hand side, you can see a picture where depending on your RAM, you have to enter the same entry. So on my end, I'm using four gigabyte of RAM. So I will enter four, zero, 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 zero and zero. Then you will have to click on OK and make sure this base is being selected to hexadecimal. Click on OK. And now you can close it. Next, right click on the Windows icon. Click on Task Manager. Here from the top menu option, click on Startup. And here you have to disable all the third-party application like Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, PhoneLink, Skype, Discord, Steam. Whichever you don't need to be started along with the computer, you have to go ahead and disable them. So just right-click on it. And if it's been enabled, then you have to disable it. Okay, so look for all the application. Once you are done, you will have to close it. And then you have to right-click on the Windows icon again. Click on Settings. Here you have to click on privacy and here you have to disable all these windows permission like in the general you have to disable all of them a speech you have to disable linking you have to disable diagnostic and feedback you have to disable then come to the app permission and here whichever you are not using like location if you're not using then you have to disable it camera mic if you're not using you have to disable it now there are a few more applications like phone call call history messaging radio that majority of the people are not using so just go ahead and disable them all then scroll down to the bottom and you will find the background app click on it and toggle off this option that says let app run in the background once it disabled you will have to close it and now we are only remaining with the final steps where you have to click on windows search again type sys dm.cpl hit the enter key here from the top menu option you will have to click on advanced under the performance, you will have to click on settings. Now here it will be by default selected to let windows choose where all kind of animation are being enabled. 
now if you really need the performance and you are not concerned about the animation then choose the third option and check this option that says show thumbnail instead of icon and smooth the edges of a screen font now click on apply and click on ok now go ahead and restart the computer this time when the computer gets restarted you will find a great difference you will find that the computer lagging issues and the poor performance has been fixed and in case if you get any kind of a blue screen after restarting the computer then do not get panic you have to shut down the computer again and then restart it back you will not be having any kind of issues so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye